ESPN, Around the Horn, Government 310 Edition. I'm your host, Alicia Levine. Today we'll be talking about the presidential election in Virginia, Mitt Romney versus Barack Obama. So far in the presidential race, the New York Times poll called 538 suggests that Obama is winning both the popular vote and the electoral college vote. And this poll uses state polls as well as national polls to make the prediction. Election 2012 shows Obama ahead, but not with enough votes to win, with 243 to Romney's 206. The main toss-up toss states are Iowa, Wisconsin, and Ohio, and Romney recently slipped up in Ohio, where he lied about the American company Jeep sending manufacturing jobs to China, which is not, in fact, true. So this may play a crucial role in the vote of Ohio. On the other hand, Obama cut his women vote in half in California when he focused too much on reproductive rights rather than the economy. The total population of the state of Virginia is 8,096,604 people. 71% of those people are white. 20% of them are African American, less than 1% are American Indian, 6% are Asian, less than 0.5% are Pacific Islanders, and 8% are Hispanic. <laughs> Graduation rates in Virginia. From high school in the state of Virginia, the percent age 25 and up from 2006 to 2010 was 86.1%. College students with a bachelor's degree or higher from 2006 to 2010 was 33.8%. The median household income in Virginia is 61,406, which is about 10,000 more than the U.S. household income. Their poverty line is 3,000, is 3% 3 less than the U.S. poverty rate. As of 2011, the state of Virginia has 6% of children under the age of 5, 22%. As of 2011, the state of Virginia has 6% of children under the age of 5, 22% of people under the age of 18, 12% of people 65 and over which leaves 58% of people between the ages of 19 and 64, which means that 78% of... <laughs> Are you still recording? Yeah. Cool. Romney represents the Republican Party. In the past elections, Virginia has always voted Republican until the 2008 election. They voted Democratic for Barack Obama. But this history rep favors Romney because he supports the Republican Party. Mitt Romney's socioeconomic status is upper class, which is exactly why his Republican Party sort supports his revenue neutral tax plan, where the rich, the middle class, and the poor all continue to bear the same tax burden that they do now. Virginia being a swing state, polls showed Romney was ahead. Last election was the first year Virginia voted Democratic, so Obama still has a chance in winning Virginia since he won it in 2008. Barack Obama's socioeconomic status. Barack Obama is a part of the D Democratic Party. His socioeconomic status is the middle to upper class. He did not grow up with wealth. He was raised by his grandparents mainly throughout his life. He struggled, but he got his education at Harvard. There has been eight presidents from the state of Virginia. One Federalist, three Democratic Republican, one, three Wings, and one Democrat. Virginia is considered a swing state because both the Democrats and the Republican parties believe that their candidate leads the other as the presidential race comes to a close. History is on Virginia's side, but Obama was recently given a four-point edge on Mitt Romney. I feel that the presidential election this year will go in the favor of Mitt Romney due to the fact that the public want to change in the policies of the last four years. This is exactly what Mitt Romney is providing. The most important issue in this election to Americans is the economy, and I feel most Americans will trust Mitt Romney's business expertise over Barack Obama's. Furthermore, I feel like Mitt Romney has proved his leadership ability over the current president. I think it will be a close race, but Mitt Romney will edge it.